Hello there, my Gemini Collective. I hope you're having a fantastic day. What's up with you, Geminis? Good vibes. Good vibes, Geminis. Lord have mercy, Geminis. Look at the What is this energy around you? Geminis, there's so much energy around you. Do be mindful of the sort of energies you tap into, okay? So, you got 48 here, wishing well. It goes to 12. Mm. Ooh, the hangman energy. Gemini, Gemini, Geminis. Uh, grounded and focused with you, Geminis. A lot of you, it's more tangible energy with you. It's more tangible energy with you. So, you get a lot of Seven of Cups vibes, Geminis. So, what have you changed some of you, you're off your dating sites. You're thinking more about you. You're very, um, Gemini's, you're very focused. So whatever you're doing, work, love, life energy, right? I feel like you're doing the work. Archangel Michael there. There's the Aquarius energy. A lot of blessings energy, Gemini's. So you need to make sure that you're manifesting in positive energy. Keep a, keep a happy, healthy outlook. Keep a happy, healthy outlook, Gemini's. I, I love this energy of, like, someone watching over you. It's, it's, so, you got a lot of peace, love, and light, Geminis. Stay focused and grounded. Yeah, a lot of you are really creating some strong foundations. So, relationships, partnerships, work, love, life energy for you right now. You're looking at something more permanent. So, we're going to see Seven of Cups. That's for damn sure. There you are, Geminis. That's the sort of attitude you need to take. Be mindful. Be mindful of the energies you tap into, Geminis. Especially when you're sort of in this beautiful manifesting energy. Your prayers are being answered. Uh, opportunities are coming in. So you got to make sure that you're vibing in this positive energy. Don't bring me down, right? Uh, what's that other one? Uh, love is like a wishing well, kiss and tell a ooh. So, people want your attention, Geminis. What did I say we'd see seven of cups? But Geminis, I think you're the one that's made choices. So, if you're coming out of relationships or partnerships, right? Some of you have made a choice. I think some of you are choosing you. Um, Geminis, especially if, you know... You have choices, you have options. That's that's not the sort of point with you. What do you really want? What do you really want? So, overly emotional isn't your thing. Gemini, some of you are happy as fuck being single. If you wanted to be in a relationship, you would be putting time, energy, and effort towards that relationship. Some of you are figuring out what the fuck that even means for you. I think that's what makes this interesting with you, Geminis. Some of you aren't caught in that sort of uh, love-type energy. So I don't feel like you're on your dating sites. I don't feel like you're really... Uh, you're not thirsty. So, damn Geminis. But, Geminis, you could have left people in that Seven of Cups energy. So, who thought they had a relationship or partnership with you? Um... Sort of even vice versa energy, Gemini. Some of you, you're just single as fuck, happy as fuck, focused on you. It's sort of what vibe you're on. Some people never get out of Seven of Cups. Gemini's, I feel like a lot of you have gotten out of that. You're far more focused. This is also know what you want. So if you're manifesting uh, good opportunities, if you're manifesting uh, romantic relationships or partnerships, you better have a good idea of what the fuck it is you want. Or you could call in all sorts of fucking opportunities, yes, but they're not all sort of positive. You know what I mean? There's the emperor energy. There's that three up. This is boss ass energy with you, Gemini's. This is boss ass energy with you. So a lot of you are out of that seven of cups, right? Some of you are definitely this grounded, focused energy with you. Focus on the tangible, Geminis, right? In a relationship or partnership. Model, artist, curator energy here. Whatever you got going on, uh, focus on the tangible. Focus on the tangible. 
I am Gemini's. There's that, yeah, this is good manifesting energy, but be mindful of what the fuck it is you're manifesting, right? Uh, make sure that you manifest a partner who sort of matches your needs. Uh, none of that sort of, it, it's like none of that stagnant emotional energy, right? Oh, see, you got a lot of this fake ass energy. No more I love yous. That word is leaving me. So I feel like you're happy as fuck. You've made these changes. Um, Gemini's, if it's romantic with you, you got choices, you got options. Shit, get off the pot or stay stuck in Seven of Cups. Those of you that's out of that Seven of Cups energy, you're looking at bigger opportunities, better opportunities. You're definitely taking your time. So, the availability of you, Gemini's, is completely different. Some of you are holding off because of work energy, right? You're too fucking busy. So, you're not trying to put too much on your plate. You're definitely about the sort of portion control. What sort of energies you sort of take on, what you do. Uh, you're very good at sort of managing that sort of vibe. You know what I mean? Model artist curator. Some of you could be taking on new opportunities, new responsibilities. So you really don't. Gemini's, I think you're more focused on what gets your time, energy, and attention is what you're going to actually focus on. I don't think there's some wistful sort of dreamy energy around you. Because this is accomplishment energy, Gemini's. So pull focus back on what's important. Learning to love yourself. This is moisturized, hydrated. This is, you're not trying to fill any empty voids, right? Um, you actually feel good. Damn, Gemini. Once you pull your energy back and you're not feeding that sort of seven of cups indecision energy, boy, that makes a difference. Boy, does that make a difference. This is shit get off the pot, right? Uh, if you want to stay in a seven of cups, you're going to stay there for as long as you want to stay in it. Or you can get the fuck out and focus on something tangible. Some of you getting back to actually doing what you love. But you know when you pull away from a seven of cups, someone's going to feel lost. So you either got dumped Gemini's or you're the one that dumped somebody. Uh, there was a switch up. Gemini, some of you, you could have dumped a lot of fucking people. You know what I mean? I feel like you're more that decision maker here with the emperor and the three of pentacles. Uh, and Gemini's, the sort of associations that you had. Model artist curator here, right? Who wanted you for you and who was just sort of stringing you along? Uh, if this is like business relationships and partnerships, right? Who was just sort of friendly to your face but really didn't offer much? You're being very mindful of who gets your time, energy, and attention. Ooh, look at you go, Gemini's. Basis of this, yeah. You got Crosswatcher energy, Gemini's, but Crosswatchers watch because they can't see. So this tells me that you've moved off of uh, uh, any of your sort of uh, public platforms. A lot of you, you're not on the dating sites. You're not going out. You've switched it up. Some of you are definitely focused more on your health, right? So... That pulls some conflict in, but it usually does. In a seven of cups situation, when you make a decision and you move forward and you, especially when you pull focus back on yourself. So this is a, you say no, and then you go do your own fucking thing. There isn't that sort of seven of cups energy dance, right? We're coming back and forth. Gemini's, a lot of you aren't having conversations. A lot of you aren't focused on anything that you don't see there being any sort of tangible results from. So... Yeah. It's really like you flush the toilet, right? So you've moved forward, and now you're focused on you. And that is. But cross-watchers watch because they can't see. Gemini, some of you, why are you cross-watching if you cross-watching? I don't feel like you're cross-watching. You're too fucking busy focused on what you got going on. But you do have to be mindful of that sort of energy, Gemini's. Yeah, you've switched something. So, Gemini's, if you haven't switched something or made a... Uh, some of you made a fucking choice, right? This is what this is sort of all about. Looking at things differently. So, Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups is just... You have choices, you have options. Who's getting your time, energy, and attention? Who's worth the time, energy, and effort? You look at the Seven of Cups. 
The Seven of Cups isn't a bad card, but, right? You got the snake, the tornado. There's that sort of Christmas wreath energy. There's the money. There's that hand with that, I don't know what you want to call it there, right? That's like the Capricorn energy. Uh, relationships and partnerships that just sort of keep you stuck. There's the rose energy. There's the heart with wings, right? What do you want? Once you know what you want, Geminis, you're going to be able to actually focus on that and actually call in the right relationships and partnerships. Work, love, life energy with you, Geminis. I think you got a lot of people guessing. And you know what? Let them guess, Geminis. But do be mindful of not tapping into that sort of stuck, stagnant energy. Yeah, you need to rethink, rework something, refocus on something. Geminis, whatever this sort of inspiration is with you is going to be different. There's that temperance angel. Gemini, some of you could be going through a, load of, a sort of spiritual awakening, even if you're not spiritual. Uh, you're looking at things from a sort of higher perspective. Gemini, for a lot of you, this is when you comes down to what that Ten of Cups is, like uh, better long-term relationships or partnerships. You're building strong foundations, so you can have this, all this good energy. But you're going to have higher expectations when it comes to your relationships or partnerships. Especially if you're not trying to fill any emotional voids. Right? Gemini's, I do feel like a lot of you are on a sort of purifying uh, energy vibe now. So you could be paying close attention to the energy you take in. Filtering out what you don't need. Uh, definitely staying moisturized, hydrated. Focusing on this, it's more peace, love, light energy with you than stuck, stagnant energy. You're grounded in focus. The energy here isn't that you're not open to relationships or partnerships, Geminis. You're just going to be very mindful of who sort of taps into that vibe with you. Especially if you had a lot of Seven of Cups relationships. And Geminis, you could be the one that put people in Seven of Cups relationships or partnerships, right? Uh... You're more determined and focused here. I like these two because these two sort of work together. You're very determined and focused. So you're weeding out any sort of negative energy that you don't need. You're focusing on, you're doing the shadow work, right? Uh, you're making healthy choices. You're sort of filtering out. So some of you could be doing whatever you sort of do for that. I do feel like there's a health energy around you too. So, you know, you're probably paying more attention to that. My, oh my, Geminis. Let's also be mindful of that sort of toxic energy, especially if you were coming from a Seven of Cups relationship or partnership. Work, love, life energy here, Geminis. Because the vibe with you is, uh, however you get your attention, right? This is upgrade in energy. Gemini's, for some of you, this sort of busy schedule you got going on, really focusing on yourself and not really having time to sort of feed that external energy has sort of brought about this change for you. So this could be education with you. This could be taking on new opportunities. This could be uh, reworking what the fuck it is that you're doing, right? You had this sort of distraction energy to allow you to focus. Because I definitely feel like you're grounded and focused, Geminis. So, if it's a relationship or partnership, if it's worth your time, energy, and effort, you're going to go forward with it. If it's not, you're not. You're probably not dealing with fake-ass people. You're not dealing with anything that doesn't sort of interest you. There is this sort of filtering energy with you. But the Capricorn is, is keeping you sort of focused. So now's a good time to uh, focus on establishing new habits, right? Mm, Gemini's, Gemini's, Gemini's. Take what's yours and leave what's not. There's the Fool and there's the Seven of Swords. Your intuition is definitely on point, Gemini's. But a lot of you, it's because you're sort of taking the time to focus on what needs to be done. So you're all about the positive outcome energy here. And that's what makes this far more interesting with you. You definitely have <laughs> choices and options, Gemini's. But some of you are choosing not to. 
you're choosing not to. For some of you, this this sort of change up, so your schedule could have got busy, or, or you're looking at things differently. This is like, uh, what is it? In order to establish a new habit, you have to break it like 21 times. So Gemini, some of you, whatever sort of literature you're taking in, whatever sort of TED Talk energy you're taking in, uh, whatever you listen to, whatever sort of media you consume, you're being very mindful of it. So a lot of you... I don't know if they call it self-help now still or not, but you're definitely focused. If it comes to relationships or partnerships, you're probably over there in uh, therapy land looking at uh, what healthy relationships and partnerships should be. This sort of clears any doubt that you have moving forward into better relationships or partnerships. Uh, understanding and understanding you. Capricorn is understanding you. So you're not going to waste time and energy trying to understand someone else's love language because you're focusing more on yours. But this cross-watcher energy with you, Gemini, some of y'all be mindful of that. Don't tap into that sort of stuck, stagnant energy. A Gemini in this vibe, you ain't cross-watching. You're too fucking busy. Take what's yours and leave what's not, Gemini's. Eight of Swords there with the pages. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, you're very fucking mindful. That Eight of Swords there with that page of swords. You're not on your socials. You're not... Uh, everyone wants to know what the fuck you're doing because you're just doing your own fucking thing over here. Gemini's, those of you, when it comes to work, you could have good uh, opportunities with work. And a lot of you know you can't really discuss that. Uh, whatever you do for work, right? You're very focused here. I love this energy. It feels like you had a distraction come in. And then this sort of epiphany energy with you uh, sort of happened. I do feel there could be a little spiritual element to this, Gemini's. Even if you're not a religious or a spiritual person. But it, it kind of just shows up. You know what I mean? Damn, Gemini's. I love this vibe with you. Yeah, the Eight of Cups. I feel like a lot of you are off the dating sites. That's not what you're focused on. You're focused on you. Gemini's, for a lot of you, this is that sort of upgrade in energy with you. Better opportunities coming in with the Ten of Pentacles right here. I feel like you have goals, Gemini's, before you sort of focus on uh, sort of tapping into that emotional side. Some of you had to sort of dry your feet off. You had to get out of your feels for a little bit. So you've done the shadow work. You've focused on what is important to you. You're going after that nine, ten of cups, but you had to sort of learn, grow, understand. So I don't feel like you're in seven of cups. You made a choice. So do be mindful of sort of tapping into that sort of stuck-ass energy, Gemini's. You know what I mean? Work, love, life energy on this for you, Gemini's. Some of you, you deal with a lot of fake-ass energy in your day-to-day -day life, right? Um, take what's yours and leave what the fuck is in Gemini's. Cross-watchers watch because they can't see. So, Gemini's. Over that Knight of Cups, yeah. it's Gemini's, some of you, it's you're still getting offers and opportunities. If you're dating, you're casually dating. Um, I don't think you're really focused on anything or anyone really overwhelming you. If you start a relationship, you're going to take your time. There's that Queen of Cups energy. There's that Ace of Grounded and Focus. Every cup has to have a fucking coaster. Right? And there's that Six of Cups. What's between the Six and the Eight of Cups? Yeah, you are so grounded and focused here. Definitely healthy boundaries. Oh, Gemini's. Gemini's, Gemini's, Gemini's. There's this energy of uh, reflection, Gemini's, with that Capricorn energy, learning to love yourself. This is definitely moving forward. You're being very mindful. So who gets your time, energy, and attention? is sort of your focus right now. 
But not in the energy of wanting to bring in a relationship or partnership. Some of you know now is just not the time, especially if you're busy. I feel like you're out of that sort of fake-ass energy. So whatever this upgrade is with you, right? The more responsibility you have that actually gives you tangible results, the less time you spend on the, the sort of secondary uh, energies that doesn't. Gemini, some of you could have just stopped dating. Uh, right? You could have just stopped going out. You could have just stopped, uh, whatever you normally did. Especially if you had a lot of people that you were given time, energy, and attention to. This could be work energy with you, Geminis. This could be a romantic, whatever the fuck that Seven of Cups is. Right? A lot of you, it's busy. You just got busy. Or you just decided what was more important. This is education with you. This is learning. This is growing. Some of y'all could be doing the creative energy, right? So you're busy, consumed with your uh, work. A lot of you good creative endeavors. Some of you making yourself sit down and actually write. If you're a writer, some of y'all making yourself sit down and actually paint. Be creative. I feel like you know, there's this sort of inspiration with you of creativity. It's growth. It's understanding. If you're not a creative person as far as the arts are concerned, you're learning and understanding something new. I do feel, Gemini's, that you kind of put people in the Seven of Cups energy. So, I think you were the one that was just dumping the shit that you don't need. You know what I mean? Uh, relationships and partnerships that just require too much uh, energy and work. You're filtering through your connections. You'll establish healthier connections. That's sort of what this vibe is all about. Some of you, this is an upgrade with what you do with work. So, you know what? You're getting the extra education. You're taking classes. Uh, go for the promotion, Geminis, right? My, oh, my Geminis. Let's take a look at what came out crosswise for you. Heal the Ouch, 38. Magic Prayer, 32. Peaks of Joy, 33. Rock Bottom is 10. So this is Will of Fortune energy. Choices and options with you, Geminis. A lot of you, this is learning to sort of uh, flip that energy around and look at things differently. I definitely feel like you're... You, you've taken on more things. You're working on more things. But what gets your time, energy, and attention is actually what you want to put your time, energy, and effort into. 33 in here. Peaks of Joy, 32. Magic Prayer. Gemini, has a, I do feel like some of you are going through a sort of spiritual awakening, but it's not like you would normally think. Um, when you're kind of tapping to Capricorn energy, this is just like doing the shadow work, right? You kind of look at things differently. A lot of people use this as an excuse, right? But Gemini's, if you're interested in spirituality, you're not going to go to a church that's all the time preaching Capricorn, um, right? This is a sort of power of positivity with you. A lot of you are filtering out that sort of toxic energy. Cleaning up your connections, focusing on what's good. The Capricorn energy with you actually sort of brings about this switch up. So you're filtering out the toxins and focusing on the positive. And then heal the ouch. This is that sort of unexpected spiritual boost with you. You're going to look at things differently. Gemini's, for some of you, this could be what you're doing for work. Uh, the energy around you, Geminis, is, is really rather complex. So if you're sort of feeling it, this is that grounded and focused. So you know what I mean? It's, it's going to be different. It's going to be different. And Geminis, some of you, the relationships and partnerships that you do establish are going to be very interesting. They're going to be very good. This is a good opportunity for good working relationships or partnerships. So Gemini, some of you are switching it up and getting rid of the sort of stuck stagnant energies. 
people, places, and things that kept you sort of stuck. And focusing on uh, people that actually do have a different sort of mindset that actually are a, a more positive influence on what you've got going on. Uh, so, damn Geminis, right? Take what yours, Geminis, and leave what the fuck is not. The journey with you is getting out of your feels. So, when it comes to relationships or partnerships, Geminis, I think you shat, got off the pot, flushed the fucking toilet, and now you're focused on you. So, you're definitely filtering out. So, you're, you're removing the sort of toxic energy, connections, vibes. However, whatever verbiage you use on that, Geminis... Um, the spiritual element with you is just sort of, uh, renewed faith, hope. Some of you could be meeting somebody who is strongly religious. So when you date them, that's gonna kind of be a factor in, uh, the relationship. Uh, and it's something you might have to think about that maybe you never thought about before, right? But it's like a good sort of positive vibe with you, Gemini's. I feel like you're severing those ties and connections you don't need. You're filtering out what sort of is stagnant with you. Mm. I love that energy, Geminis. Take what's yours and leave what isn't. Once you're in this sort of energy, you're definitely going to be better prepared to choose better relationships and partnerships. Healthier relationships and partnerships. Work, love, life energy here. Gemini, some of you could be getting into like chakra balancing or different things like that. Whatever this sort of energy vibe is with you, it's all about being grounded and focused. So Gemini's, there ain't no sort of over-romanticized energy with you. Um, you know what I mean? I think you're definitely missed though, Gemini's. So you know what I mean? The Five of Swords with the Ace of Swords, the Four of Swords, the Libra Energy, the King of Wands, and there you are, Geminis. Cross watchers watch because they can't see. So, Geminis, don't stay focused on that sort of stuck, stagnant energy. You definitely create a nice little switch up, Geminis. You create a nice little switch up. Again, work, love, life energy on this, Geminis. Once you sort of pulled focus back on you, this is a more grounded energy with you, Geminis. So, you know, keep doing the work. Building them strong foundations. That sort of switch up. This is a good change up in energy with you, Geminis. My, oh, my, oh, my. Who gets your time, energy, and attention? Who gets it, Geminis? Over top of that, you got this Ace of Wands. Yeah, very mindful manifesting. Right? Damn, Geminis. So, keep doing the work. Keep focusing on you. Some of you get out of your feels long enough in order to sort of stay grounded and focused. Some of y'all just have to make a decision. Some of you, your workload got too busy. So, you weren't able to date. And then you kind of like this energy. Mm. Keep doing the work, Geminis. Keep doing the work. You're definitely attracting attention. I don't feel like it's lack of opportunities, Geminis. It's just the right energy shows up at the right time. When you're in the right sort of energy. Because I feel like you're establishing good sort of roots for yourself. A good foundational energy. In order to bring in new opportunities that bring growth so, Geminis, this is you actually thinking about settling down. More long-term relationships or partnerships rather than just the seven of cups. So, I don't feel like you like your feet wet. So, you're not going to stay stuck in anything that doesn't sort of allow that growth energy to happen. You know what I mean? So, you're very mindful of that sort of uh, the emotional connections. Some of you are definitely filtering out the toxic energies you don't need. 
there's a beautiful health energy on this. So take care of yourself, right, Gemini's? Oh, what else we got for Gemini's here? Take what yours, Gemini's. Leave what the fuck is it? A lot of this was sort of haphazard with you, Gemini's. It wasn't really anything that you sort of was focused on, right? But an opportunity shows up, so you started working more. Uh, you started... It's, it's about the grounded energy with you, Gemini's. So you're making decisions. You're actually very mindful of uh, what you're sort of taking in, right? You're very focused. Woo woo is wonderful. Number one energy here. <laughs> just look at that. Some of you just learning to fucking love yourself here. Uh, this is number one magician energy, right? You got to know what the hell you want in a relationship or partnership in order to sort of establish the right one. Opportunity definitely coming in. But once you sort of put yourself first... So, Gemini, some of you got out of relationships or partnerships from people that really... It, it's like a codependency thing with you, right? So, the energy drain, the way too much sort of distraction energy. So, you had to put focus back on you. Some of you, this could be just... Uh, maybe you got the opportunity to not have a roommate. So, you didn't have any sort of external pull on your energy, Right? So, damn. The opportunity's there. You're going to be uh, in the right frame of mind, in the right mindset to call it in. You can meet the right person at the wrong time. You can meet the wrong person at the right time. You just have to be able to figure out what it is you want. There's definitely going to be equal reciprocity energy here too, Geminis. You're not going to fuck around with anything or anyone that isn't matching your sort of... Uh, energy vibe especially if you spend a lot of time in just uh, situations where you were expected I, this could be your codependency gemini some of you i think you sort of fed that codependency right especially when it came to emotional relationships or partnerships so you're not gonna require your partner to fulfill all your emotional needs so, and Gemini's, I don't think you're going to be the one to sort of fulfill all your partner's emotional needs. Uh, it's going to be a matched energy, right? It's going to be a matched energy. This is tangible energy with you too, Gemini's. This isn't that oh, overly romanticized that nothing really comes of it. It's just, oh, so there's feelings. Oh, well, what, what are you working off of? What are you building off of? Mm. <laughs> Damn, Geminis. Take what's yours and leave what's not, Geminis. Yeah, two of cups. Healthier relationships and partnerships. Not everything's romantic with you, Gemini. So, you know, this is just finding that right sort of energy. Mm, Gemini's. Oh, you want something else on top of this, Gemini's? Ten, the alchemical artist. Will of fortune energy. Four, divine dragon energy. That 33 energy with you, Gemini's. Really focusing on you. You notice you got the sun and then you got the moon there. So, Gemini's. There's a lot of this unexpected energy with you. You like it. Uh, I feel like this sort of uh, switch up with you was sort of accidental. It's like you started working so much. You started focusing on something and then everything else just sort of uh, cleared away, right? So keep doing you. Keep focusing on new. Keep uh, this sort of matched energy. 
Keep keep doing the, the filtering here, right? Those of you, emotional relationships or partnerships, right? You're making smarter choices. I do feel like it, it could be a little bit spiritual for you Geminis, but I don't feel like it's that deep. It's like a renewed faith, hope type deal. You know what I mean? Looking at things from a higher perspective, looking at things from a different perspective, especially when you've been sort of doing this shadow work. Mm -hmm. Damn Geminis. If you're a quilter, quilt something, right? Stay focused on you Geminis. Keep loving yourself. Damn Geminis. Good luck, God bless, like, share, subscribe. Peace, love, and light. I was going to ring the bell, but I didn't ring my bell. <laughs> uh, take what's yours, leave what isn't, Geminis. Good luck, God bless. Keep, keep filtering out the toxins, Geminis. You got this. You got this. Good luck, God bless.